Boom Strong uh, is actually something that came about during um, COVID, when COVID first started. Uh, people were talking about what to do. There was a lot of uncertainty around uh, what this virus was all about. A lot of people didn't know. We decided uh, the best way to sort of um, fight against COVID was to stay healthy. Uh, we wanted to be outside. One thing led to another, uh, and obviously uh, as a company who also wants to be not just a successful company, but a good company, uh, we ended up turning Plume Strong into a, um, an initiative where we're helping underprivileged communities, people. Our first event was in 2021 where we rode uh, and rose, raised money. Uh, we rode from Zurich to, to Ljubljana uh, and donated uh, funds for that. It grew this year. Uh, we've invited our partners, and of course, uh, today we're, we're absolutely honored and inspired by your presence and support um, as well. So um, we're really looking forward to a phenomenal event starting tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks to be to be become a part of this uh, this team, this wonderful uh, projects, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for tomorrow uh, tomorrow's race uh, that we're gonna do. All right. Okay, I'm going to give you extra 20 kilos, if that's okay. Yeah, we, we'll we agreed on that. Yeah. Okay. All that. right, that's a deal. Plume is a is a great company that I discovered basically this year only, and uh, yeah, I immediately heard a lot of uh, good stories. They they help uh, for children. They do charities for ch children and uh, a lot of events to support that, and. Yeah, I think it's uh, good to team up and um, do something uh, great together because yeah, uh, that's what I also want to do, help to, to others and uh, yeah, I think this is a great opportunity to work together. Thank you very much for that today. Of course our Slovenian connection, connections also uh, bring us a little closer together. Really good to be with you. Yeah, we have in Slovenia really a lot of uh, athletes, a lot of uh, talent, I think, in, in the sport and I don't know where this comes from. I think it's just in our nature that uh, we want to be, um, that we are really eager and um, stubborn and uh, yeah, we used, we used to the hard work, I guess, and uh, yeah, I think that's why we, we are great athletes in, in Slovenia, but okay. Uh, it's not. It's not just us. So everyone is doing great work. Well, the inspiration perhaps is uh, infectious. So we're uh, we're hoping that you can infect us with uh, with that winning spirit and and commitment, uh, stubbornness. Uh, those are some of the qualities um, that I believe resonate in our world as well in the technology field. Uh, our lives, our world changes constantly. There is, uh, there's nothing sort of constant, if you know what I mean. So we're always having to reinvent ourselves and that, um, we like to say, our commitment um, gives us courage. Uh, the courage of the, these convictions are good. So I, I see lots of parallels in your world as well. The data, uh, we use a lot of data in, uh, in uh, cycling. It's one of, uh, one of the sports where you can use really a lot of uh, different things and everything is pretty much use, useful if you know how to use it and uh, yeah before the Tour de France when we have training camps uh, we build up the form we watch a lot the power curve and uh, heart rate monitors so yeah we collect everything um, and then yeah, we see how the shape it is if we are at the right spot uh, just before the Tour or any race that you want to target so yeah, um, it's pretty, now these days, important that you have uh, a lot of data. Well, I mean, it seems like uh, data is at the core of everything these days. We, um, being in the technology business, of course, uh, Plume and our company is all around data. Perhaps we use it for uh, different purposes, but uh, once somebody said uh, data is the new oil, um, maybe that's from our perspective, but it's, it's clearly at the bottom of everything we do. So uh, really interested to kind of hear more about uh, the kinds of data that uh, you're, you're looking at before uh, 
during yeah, and, and obviously well, after the events as well. Yeah, I, when especially through all the year, you we have so many data that uh, for the next year you know exactly what you need to do to be better than last year. So yeah, it helps a lot to to improve uh, year by year. Absolutely, good stuff. A yeah, strategy. Uh, there is always tactical plan, um, but in cycling you cannot uh, do exactly what you planned because there are so many circumstances around uh, that can happen and and yeah sometimes I get to improvising in the, in the race based on my feeling and I guess it's in my nature to to race from the from the gun to to race from the start and to the finish to give everything that to show my best and um, yeah, to try to win in uh, memorable ways. Corporate strategy, slipstream or leaning, uh, leading from the front, you need both. Um, it's, I feel that uh, my job perhaps is to chart the course uh, in, in, in our corporate strategy. Um, I'm the guy perhaps uh, that's putting the course on, the, on, the, on our Garmin devices. Um, and I'm oftentimes in the front um, trying to find the right, right course. Uh, but there's an army of people behind me, and every once in a while, I like I need to get back um, in the in the peloton and, and leverage. So uh, it's team. At the end of the day, it's it's all team, and uh, you know one one feeds into the other. So it's uh, I see a lot of parallels. Yeah. So basically, it's similar to cycling. We have a team, and you need your team to to give you the slipstream to not to be on the wind all the time. So you have the time to attack. Yeah, it's wonderful. Our vision for Plume Strong is for this thing to continue essentially forever. Um, we believe in the cause, um, obviously. We want to partner with uh, young champions like you t uh, today. Hopefully we can uh, continue this for a long time. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, it's about uh, doing good for the communities in which we live. Uh, we need to give back. And uh, Plume Strong, I suspect, will expand beyond cycling. But uh, stay tuned, definitely, for Plume Strong Cycling Challenge 2023. There will be another one next year. Yeah, I just learned the course today, and I'm looking really forward. Uh, unfortunately, I only do stage one, because then I fly to, to Canada for the, for the races. And uh, yeah, I will give it uh, a go tomorrow to, to test uh, all the contenders that they will be there. And uh, yeah, um, I think it's going to be an awesome experience riding in, in Swiss uh, with, uh, with the great people. When you give it a go tomorrow, I have a goal. I want to keep up with you for about 15 seconds. If, if I can do that, I'm going to feel really good. Today. Okay, yeah, we can try. Uh, we, can try. we can try in the <laughs> in the final climb if you want. Okay, let's try the climb. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, if I do good in uh, in Canada for sure, uh, it will be good sign that I was here. But if I do bad, then <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I'm just returning back to racing and. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tomorrow's training, I mean, the stage will be good for me because, yeah, uh, it will be good to be around people uh, having a go, attacking each other maybe, and uh, test the legs. So, yeah, um, it will be for sure good to, to travel to Canada. I would be really pleased if Plume can make a very small contribution to your success in Canada, I'm sure. Thank you, Tadej. Thank you so much. Bid on this bike to support Plume Strong for the auction.